Welcome to this quick tutorial on conducting industry research within Mergent Online. This tutorial will identify three ways to conduct industry-specific research. We'll identify retrieving industry reports, conducting searches within the basic search module, and conducting searches within the advanced search. The basic search and advanced search modules will identify how to build company lists based on industry. First, let's identify how to retrieve industry-related reports. To conduct this type of research, select the Industry Analysis tab from the top navigation bar. This will take you into the Industry Analysis module. From this page, you can search by macro-level industry. Selecting food and beverage will retrieve the industry analysis for that major industry. You may narrow down by region or by date. When you have selected your parameters, select search at the bottom to generate your result list. The result list defaults to most recent report. However, you may refresh that result list by selecting this arrow and look at the oldest report first. To review the industry report, you may either select the view link here to the right or the PDF icon. Selecting the PDF icon opens up a new tab within your browser and retrieves the full robust report. These reports are pretty comprehensive and cover um, a lot of different sectors within the industry. Going back to our basic search module, let's review the platform before diving into a search. On this page, you can select the type of company you'd like to review in your list. So we have options to search USA active and inactive companies, so domestic companies. You also have the option to include international companies, active or inactive. Um, this box, DMB Private Company Database, allows you to search private companies as well. Please note that private companies are not required to report their information and you may not find as much information available on these companies. Once you have identified the types of companies, head over to the classification search box. Here, you may select one of the three radio buttons to search. Let's search primary NAICS. If you're not certain what the industry code is, you may use the code lookup link here. And this allows you to drill down by sub-industry. So if we wanted to focus on retail and trade and focus specifically on sporting goods and hobby stores, we can select that industry code 4511 and type that in the search box and then click on search. This will give us a list of results that match our industry code plus our company um, search parameters. So we see on this list 74 public companies, 1,953 private companies, and the default is set to show all. So we're seeing private and public companies on this list. However, you can narrow down to either public or private by selecting either link at this top navigation bar. You can download this list into an Excel spreadsheet by selecting that option at the top right corner here. You may also search within these results. To build a company list using the advanced search module, select that tab from the top navigation page. And you have multiple search parameters from which to choose. If you wanted to conduct a cross-state analysis within a particular industry, I have one set up already, but we'll go through how to add these search fields. Um, so if you wanted to add the state, you would select this plus button here, and this would pop up. I've selected California. Next, you want to make sure to select the or option, especially if you're comparing um, states or countries. If you select and, it narrows down your search because it's connecting the two states and you won't find as many companies that have business in both states. So you want to make sure to click that or option there. 
Um, we're keeping it set to and at this section because we want to find the companies that are either um, in this industry code, either in California or Illinois. All right, and then to find that option, I selected the industry codes tab here and then selected this plus button. So when I selected that, that appeared at the bottom here. So just to exit out, and then we see our search criteria at the bottom after we've conducted our search. Um, when you're ready to review your matches, we have 27 matching our search parameters. Um, you can select view, and then it gives you that list of companies that match our search parameters. So we're mainly seeing public companies. Let's go back to our advanced search page just to explore in just a bit more detail. You have the option of um, adding additional search parameters. So if you wanted to narrow down to companies that have a specific number of employees, you can do that as well. So you have the options of searching less than, less than or equals, greater than, greater than or equals or equals. So if you wanted to find companies that have less than a thousand employees, we can add that search parameter, click on submit, and then it refreshes our search number. So we'll see that appear in just a moment. Um, so we have five companies that are either in California or Illinois and are within our industry, 4481, and that have less than a thousand employees. Likewise, you can also narrow down by financial information. So if you wanted to find companies with a total revenue of um, greater than a thousand dollars a month, let's say clicking on submit, we'll refresh our search and then we'll see that number up here. Um, and if you're finding that this is generating too narrow of a search, you can um, alter your search parameters. So we have four matches. And finally, you can conduct a textual search. So if you wanted to search within the business information, let's say the business contains fashion anywhere um, within its title, its business name, or its uh, business description, you can identify you know, add that um, textual search component, click on submit. Um, keep in mind that um, those businesses may not have those keywords um, within them, so this may be um, a harder search to conduct. However, the possibilities are endless, and I recommend playing around with this section so that you can um, create those business lists that help you um, conduct an industry analysis in that sense. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial.